Hey guys and welcome. I'm Lil Smurdy. In this video I'm gonna show you the best way you can do soul group um, and how you can make the most gold. So I've done this a few times now and I've split the dungeon into seven different pulls. So pull number one, uh, the most important part you need to do is pop uh, this pre-pot before you pull them. This will make sure you can't get stunned from the Guruboshi Axe Throwers. And then we move into pull 2. So as you can see I have Ice Block on cooldown. So I need to improvise and pull without an Ice Block. So the most important part in this pull is that you use... Um, mana shield a lot and mana gems and mana pots whenever you need to so as you can see i'm basically stacking them using dragon's breath use my flame strike proc then i blast wave them and i use that proc and then i just use cone of cold and arcane explosion i reuse mana shield whenever i feel like i need to and then i continue spamming um, arcane explosion until i have dragon's breath back on cooldown and then I finish them off. Then we move into pull 3 after I've looted. So basically how you're gonna get all your gold from Soul Group is from random greens that you can disenchant, you get the bee juice and uh, the coins that you can sell on auction house for twink enchants and stuff and a bunch of other stuff. So now I have, uh, now I'm doing pull three, and you can see I have ice block, but you want to save your ice block for the next pull. So I use dragon's breath, and I wait to use my flame strike proc until they're stacked. I use blast wave, I use the blast wave proc, and then I use cone of cold, and I just spam arcane explosion. Moving into pull 4, it's on the complete other side of the dungeon. And then I pull the first adder there. I pull the second pack to the left. I use my energy boost. Boots, you don't really need to use them, but it's still really good to have. And when I get into this room, I have Pyroblast proc that I use on the Guru Bashi Axe Thrower. I also put the Living Bomb on him because the Axe Throwers are your biggest enemy in this dungeon. And then I block and I use and wait until they're stacked a bit and then I use my Dragon's Breath, Flame Strike proc, I blast wave them, Flame Strike proc, and I spam a bit of Arcane Explosion. I can see them taking a lot of damage, so I use my mirror images to basically lose all my aggro and then I finish the mob off. Moving on to pull five. There is two axe throwers here, so I hard cast a pyro, I scorch, I living bomb him, and I living bomb the other one. I pull a few tigers, and then one axe thrower is dead, so I move towards the next one. I dragon's breath, use my flame strike proc, and then I use blast wave, and I use that proc, and then I finish them off. Here I have a few cups that refuse to get aggro on me, so I just pull them all and finish them off. Then you move into the most important pull in the dungeon. And so I put Living Bomb on every single axe thrower I see. And they, they, they will pull the rest of the axe, or they will pull the rest of the mobs. Then I kite away, use some random pyroblast, I loss here, use dragon's breath, use the proc, I blast wave, use the flame strike proc, and then here I blink away, luckily I have it back up, and I finish off the last two tigers, and then here I will put living bomb on as many of the axe throwers as I can, you don't really need to, but it's still extra damage, so you might as well. Then I lost them, and then I use Dragon's Breath, my Flame Strike proc, and I finish them off. And then I have to wait for the cast, otherwise he's gonna CC me forever, and then I finish him off. 
and then pull 7 is the last pull I have block back up so I make sure I pull every mobs around here I use my energy boots to get to do it quicker I pull these three camps here put living bombs on the biggest targets and then I block and I wait until they're stacked a bit I go out of block, I use dragon's breath use my flame strike proc, blast wave, flame strike proc and that's the entire dungeon thank you for watching, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one